There, everybody. Welcome to Confessions. Everyone wants to confess, but not everyone wants to hear them. Today, I'm joined by two wonderful people. Joining me back, probably like it's probably like your fifteenth time or something on this guy podcast. I love it. Years. You love it. It is the wonderful Lemo. Welcome back. Uh, it is very nice to be here. You would think, even though I've done it fifteen times, <laughs> that was a classic bit of overtalk there, Claire, where I talked over <laughs> Sam because because you were ready to be included, weren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get in there. I was and excited, you, and you didn't want it to be an easy edit. Thank you very. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll isolate the tracks and make it so much easier for you, Lima. I should know better. <laughs> and, of course, I haven't had this person on before, but in the five years, uh, we've tried to make it happen a few times. I've cancelled yeah. a few times, I think, in this you time. Cancelling? I think you're, I cancelled. You're canceled. making me sound pathetic. No, surely, no. I, surely I also was busy occasionally. <laughs> you were, absolutely. It is the wonderful yeah. Claire Hooper. Welcome. Yeah, how has this never happened? It's never happened. Now? Five years, mm. just over five years. It hasn't happened yet, but this is huge. And your lovely husband Wade was on the other day I for know. the first Can time. You and Harley Breen. Hang, hang my on. husband <laughs> has been on. My, Absolutely disgusting. My not in the showbiz world husband yeah. has been on this yeah. podcast before me. Oliver Clark thought that was, oh. he was over the other night. I thought that was very funny. That you know, yeah. <laughs> Claire will be seething about that. Seething. <laughs> Absolutely, okay. seething. she's upset. Oh, that's <laughs> not funny. Not seething, but certainly curious. <laughs> curious. That's How, what he said. Sorry, not seething. Curious. <laughs> How was he? Was he good? On he the was podcast? great. He was yeah. so funny. Yeah, he didn't. He told me uh, he didn't. He didn't expect the interview, so it was a bit of an interview up top. He didn't expect the interview, yeah, he so he's thrown he also, by that. He also told me that. He, he was, was thrown. Like, I didn't. But in okay. a really funny way. He said, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> Which I think is always a good stance to take on a podcast. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> but he does, ha- he does have his own podcast. Yeah, I know. He's, yeah, he's creeping sideways into my turn. Yeah, oh, hang, on, hang on a sec. <laughs> You've got a new podcast. That's right. That's is that your up. first podcast? No, but it's not, though, of course, Lemo. The Pineapple because Project. Because I did the Pineapple Project. With oh, the ABC. Pineapple yeah, Project. Yeah, yeah. Now, of but, course. I mean, so you know, because there's other hosts on that. There's other hosts on that. I do, which was a great, was got, a great finance podcast. It got absolutely. handed on to others. Great, but, um, great read of your notes just there. It's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's great stuff. Uh, so, but, I mean, this is my first independently produced podcast. So, yeah, I'm actually dealing, like, Wade is being very, very helpful. So, and it does feel like he is the sensei yeah. and I am the student. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> and, um... Thanks to Wade. And, um, and it's he, called I'm the Worst? It's called I'm the Worst. It's a great podcast. It's fantastic. Oh, you feel like I've listened to every episode. Have you? Yeah. Listen oh, to the latest one, one this morning. morning though. You haven't. You I have. listened to Yeah, Wade. I listened to it first before you got here. This guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I was, I was, what a dream and, you are. And also, one of the hardest podcasts to Google uh, and look up is Lemo's podcast, Don't Be a Fuckwit. Don't Be a Fuckwit. Yeah, no many episodes out at the moment. There's nothing happening. I the feel like they're really similar concepts, but I have made a more Googleable name. <laughs> yes, you it's have. It's easy to look up, yeah, which is yeah, great yeah. for a pod, I believe. <laughs> I just, I mean, the, the concept of mine is that we just talk about fuckwits for an yeah. hour. Is that it, it, Well, no, it is, it's, it's a very different treatment of yeah. fuckwittery. So yeah. for yeah. me, it's more somebody who you'd expect to be pretty good confessing to a time they did something bad. And I, look, I hope mm. people aren't coming for real, like, I hope people aren't turning up for murders because I have encouraged people just not to. Like, no one don't do that business, stuff. please. You know, br- please bring something that's been fully dealt with. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, like for most people it's something from their childhood, teenage years that, yeah. they're still, that they still have just a little bit of a sad memory about because they're mm. like – and for most people it says so much about them because you can see the adult that event has created. Yeah, sure. You know what, yeah, you, know what I mean? yeah. you, you can see how it has actually informed how they conduct themselves now because it felt so yucky – to yep. be the kid that cheated at sport or to be the teenager who lied to their parents and yes. now they are kind of the opposite of that. Yeah, and it, it would be interesting if you called yours Don't Be A Fuckwit because you're bringing that person on <laughs> you know, as the fuckwit. But, Lima, you're talking about different fuckwits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fuckwittery. Yeah, certainly, yeah, that, it would be a bold... Uh, a bold, I mean, I've approached the Honourable Julia Gillard and I think I think it would be harder to be like, could don't you come on and tell me when you were a fuckwit? <laughs> don't, don't be a fuckwit. Don't be a fuckwit, Gillard. I've had people... Say no because of the name of the podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're what? connected ah. to a certain organisation. They're like, yeah, we can't really associate ourselves with that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, it's yeah. it, it, somebody who's an ambassador for Beyond Blue, for example, just being like, oh, we don't talk in black and whites like fuck with, <laughs> <laughs> not fuck with. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. There are not shades gonna... of grey and fuck with. And blue, shades of blue. And shades, so many shades of blue. What's yours called again? Called again? I'm the worst. I'm the worst. With Claire. Because I'm looking forward to your Ben Robert Smith podcast (laughs) episode, which is coming up. (laughs) Greg Ford, Sal. I'm playing it after this. (laughs) 
Yeah, let's, Let, do, drop let's the pop do a co-pro. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll relate on the same way. Yeah, that'd be amazing. So I'm the worst. It's on all of the goddamn podcast apps. People can Surely, just look it up. Surely, isn't that yeah, how it is. thing? It, yeah. do, it, you have podcast. to say no to not be on all the on I think all, you do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Just puts them out to all of them. And Limo, is, what's happening in your world? I mean, Utopia. Utopia is happening. Uh, Utopia New season. is happening. We're, we're five episodes down, yeah. three to go. And it's doing, look, it's doing really well. It's a great show. Doing really well. Yeah. It's, the numbers are great. I mean, can we talk in numbers? I don't, people I don't, don't care. No. But <laughs> to say a number if you want. <laughs> if you yeah. want to say a number. It did. Episode one did 2.2 million. Which oh, wow. This, that seems that, wild. What? Yeah. If Nobody you, does. Two, no. No. What? It, but is that including your eye views in the that's, seven weeks catch up. after? That's including. That's on catch yeah. up. No, that's no. Catch up. This, is in the first, this is in the first three days. We don't need to snap, Lima. That. You didn't Wednesday, want to talk about catch-up. The, we- the Wednesday night, the Friday night catch-up and the iView in the first three days was wow. 2.2 million. That oh, that's wild stats. Phenomenal. Yeah. That's like yeah. nobody's doing 2.2 million. That's crazy. Congratulations. Yeah. Actual TV. So, yeah. And it's been doing well over – each episode's done well over a million. So everyone's over the moon. Really everyone's great. loving it. That's everyone's great. Holy it. Yeah. moly. Yeah. That's amazing. So it's really – it's struck a chord. There's a real appetite for it. It's been yeah. four years since season four. But, yeah, I've felt this season people have been bursting to get it. Because politics has just continued to spiral downhill. Yeah. So it's a nice antidote to... It's been a pretty missed show as well. Like, it's been a long time in between shows, hasn't it? It's been... Is this uh, four, the, four years. Four years, yeah. Since yeah. season four, yeah. Yeah, it's been before COVID. Before, pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. But no COVID references in the in not this doing season. It. Okay. Which I think was a deliberate... You winked at me when you said that. It was a deliberate that. choice... So they would. So the shows would age better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Hasn't it idea. been interesting? I mean, like there was well, when we're in the middle of COVID, we really needed our experience to be reflected. Yeah. But it is so interesting that already in 2023, you watch something from two years ago and you're like, yeah. oh, it's a bit. Actually, it's a bit weird. Yeah. You know, like oh, you'd actually just yes. prefer everything to. Yeah. I just COVID bleep that out on this podcast. Anytime someone says COVID, I just bleep it out. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't talk about it. I was I was watching a comedy special uh, on the weekend. It was an English guy. I can't remember his name. Clearly made an impact. Uh, <laughs> One of but the But he's doing loads of COVID gear. And I was just. Oh, wow. It just wasn't. It, You're not just, hitting with you anymore. I ended up turning it off. I was like, I just don't care. But yeah. remember when you were in the middle of it and we just couldn't tell whether we were meant to be writing stuff with it or without. Remember yeah, that thing yeah. we like. But I ne- we, am I meant to be talking about this? Are we going to want this? it or not want it? I and are we just, all going to be talking about the same exact thing? I was thing? always, I was always in the camp of you do COVID gear. Yeah, because for me it was a comedy gift because for the first time ever you had a topic that was relatable to every person on the planet. Mm, yeah, like, there's no yeah. how many other topics are relatable to everyone in the world? Yeah, Completely yeah, that's agree. true. Like, I mean, even the Queen's death wasn't <laughs> as much of a gift <laughs> as COVID. That's a bad review. <laughs> I mean, I definitely welcome you to isolate that sentence yeah. with no context. Yeah. That's going to be the teaser. <laughs> God, Claire went off. I can't. Be- and then just I do reactions after of me and Lima. Just, oh my God. <laughs> just silence. <laughs> yeah, she came in with her bye bye Liz t shirt. <laughs> and then just piled in. Just I hates had the, the queen. tiniest little joke off the Queen's death, and um, yeah, and I just I was so sad that it only had a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should add more. <laughs> Wow. Milk yeah, it a bit. What was, your, what was your joke? Oh, just, um, <laughs> I mean, the short version of of it was just feeling pretty good, guys. Uh, my husband's hall pass was Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could oh, still do that funny. forever. Well, that's what Wade reckoned. And then <laughs> it's funnier have, as it goes then on. Then I'd act know. him out dressing up to go to the pearly gates yeah. to yeah. visit it, I did, which was a stupid bit, but it allowed me to do some dancing. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I still love it when people do that. I'll just move Posh Spice out of the way so you can see me with the yeah. mic stand. I think that's still good. Very outdated reference. Do you, it's, almost, it's almost had a reset because it's so it's such a lovely, um, like, nostalgic piece now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I think, yeah, people go, oh, instead of a laugh. Do you ever reveal what your hall pass was in that bit? No, I don't. No. Because oh, in my head I had the great week because my husband's hall pass was going, going less. Nice no, to get my back in because mine was Rolf Harris. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone. Because <laughs> yeah, you can't top that. That's good Sorry, night. Are you trying to get on my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> this is a pitch. That's why I brought you. This isn't recording. <laughs> But, yeah, so I'm the worst with Claire Hooper available on everything. Go and bloody look it up. Do some of the work. 
Thank you. Yeah, I tell, that's, a, that's how I speak to the listeners. Do some <laughs> of the work. I can't be bothered. Now, Lima, of course. Yes. You can oh, look yeah, up Don't Be a Fuckwit, but Utopia is out. It's really great. Yeah. You're on Team Effort a lot as well. You're on Team, uh, Team Effort. Effort Ash yes. and Ed podcast. With Ash and Ed, yes. And Saturday mornings I do Dead Set Legends on Triple M. So look it up. When into that. do you see your family? <laughs> Uh, I saw my wife in late February. <laughs> she seems few, to be doing well. For a few hours. <laughs> Just on Zoom. That's quite nice. She was good. Yeah. Now, I'm spending a lot more time at home this year. I really am. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm it really enjoying because I was doing radio in Adelaide last year, just taking my son to school. I mean, it sounds like such a boring thing, but God, I love it. Yeah. And picking him up from school. Do they ever know he or his dad? Or do you are you like, oh, sorry, it's it's make a wish day. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for and his favourite Adelaide radio celebrity. <laughs> ex account. Take him to school. <laughs> yeah, his favourite ex account. <laughs> One of the greats. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dilrook are the two people yeah. that, that walk him to school. <laughs> and people going, You're a comedian? Well, Dil- Dilrook wasn't available, so <laughs> he got me. We got Lemo. <laughs> Now, this podcast is all about the wonderful world of online Reddit mm. confessions. Now, I've found four wonderful people on the podcast today. Now, Lemo likes to get on these people's side a bit. You know, Lemo, you you quite often like these people a lot of the time. Often, Try and see the good often I'll be sympathetic to yeah. you. Whatever's going, because I'll look beyond what's happened and try and understand why it's happened. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on in these as well, Claire. There's a lot of there's a lot of weird people that have confessed all of this stuff, and whether or not it's true in the end, I think it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun on these people. I feel like I'm going to be pretty similar to Lemo. Yeah, I always very compassionate. Yeah, quite, sort. I'm, yeah, yeah. I always I always come at these. With, I've never considered them to be not true. Yeah, yeah. We're having a conversation about I, it before, but. A lot of the time I read them. And, and what we are saying before is, you know, you bringing someone on your podcast to talk about murder. Gee, I go through a lot of these that I don't bring on the podcast because some of the stuff is so dark on Reddit. Like it's a real, yeah. you know, it's a real bin fire. And I'm so desensitised to it now because last night I was looking at it and I was going, oh, God, like there was some really awful stuff on there. I'm just flicking through, just scrolling, right. just scrolling through. <laughs> God, yeah, it's been right. another murder. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. nah. It's like not juicy body, enough. Not useful. <laughs> <laughs> not useful for Not me. funny. Not enough <laughs> Flick, flick. That's right, yeah. They Are didn't even so use a weird word once. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. We're so desensitized. I'm like that with Instagram reels. Yeah. Like it has to get me. Like right be, away. Like there'll be a guy riding a push bike off a house and yeah. I'm like, Bloop, next. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> like well, I won't even watch the end of it. It's like, it's got to be, it's yeah. got to hook me in real quick. I think Claire's, oh, uh, <laughs> Claire's very short queen bit on this podcast is going to do really well. Oh, real no. anti-queen oh, gear. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll target it to, to to the UK. It'll go really well. <laughs> now, we have four wonderful people on the website, reddit.com, and I'm going to get your advice on these wonderful people and what to do. Now, have you had any experience with confession before, Claire? Have you ever, you know, were you raised Catholic? Have you got any no. religious background at all? No, no, no yeah. No, I find it really fascinating. Absolutely fascinated by the fact that confession went online during the yeah. lockdown time. Right, did yeah. it? Yes, people were still confessing. But I do, and by, I can't. By Zoom. I'm by like Zoom. Yeah. the things they did in their house. Yeah. So it's yeah. this really weird thing where it's like, where you've like got the screen set up just so that you can look at the screen. Like, do, isn't that? Do they turn wild? to the side though? I imagine they turn to the side Surely. when they're doing well, it. Well, it's yeah. kind of darkened out. And I mean, I yeah. went. To, I went to boarding school. We had to go to confession mm. every week. Yeah. We were forced to, and you know, I'm like a 14 year old kid at boarding oh my school. God. So we would honestly. Repetition have, on those yeah, confessions. <laughs> but there was none of that either because we lived in these big open dormitories and we had open shower. Like, the, you yeah. couldn't even. Like, you couldn't do anything. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. You couldn't. Yeah. So we would have ch- chats to each other and go, what are you going to say? Oh, I'm going to say I stole a pen. Okay, I'm going to say I was rude to one of the two. Yeah, okay, uh, good one, yeah. <laughs> oh, you use that one next oh, week. Yeah. This is the first I had. Somebody spoke to me about this on my podcast, was saying how they used to, as young people, all just make up their yes. stories. Yeah, so that's something yeah. to take in. Yes. Because otherwise it would require really complex diary keeping. But yeah, you know, yeah. like remember the thing. So they'd just go in and be like, all right, what shall we do this week? And then just yeah. make some. It yeah. never occurred to me that yeah. she was making it up. Anyway. Susie Yusuf was talking about being Catholic on uh, a recent podcast. I think it was last week yes. of yours with the Catholic guilt and that still has it, which I think you kind of say, oh, listen. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's, that checks out. <laughs> Print transcripts and just read them out. <laughs> now we have uh, four wonderful confessions on reddit.com and we have the first confession that comes from lovely Murray. 
Murray confesses. I throw away... <laughs> I'm going to start that again. Murray confesses. I throw away my dishes when I can't get them clean. But now I threw out an heirloom. Okay. So he's just... Instead of washing dishes, he just throws them out. I mean... He gets quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. C title, he writes after that. C C title. No, C title, like C above. So on Reddit, you have a heading usually, and that's his Uh heading. uh And then he says, C title. He can't be bothered writing it again. (laughs) Or just maybe moving on. A lot of these people aren't great Or he could have used the finger finger pointy up emoji. (laughs) That's right. C above. I'm with (laughs) stupid. Right. I throw away dishes when I can't get them clean. Food gets stuck to them and they get stained. Or there's some grass in there. Or something gross that I can't handle. How does, um, Heaps of grass. What do you mean grass is in there? <laughs> he cooks with lots of grass. Has he got... Grass. Had, grass. That, that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Unless there's a tiny crack in your plate. Yeah. And there's grass stuck in the crack. In which case, sure, throw the plate out. There's crack in it. <laughs> I don't know that, how grass but is getting in there. A lot I mean, heaps of grass, like it's a common thing. It's common enough for him to mention in a Reddit confession. Just moments after I said to you, <laughs> I assume these are all true. Yeah. This sounds like bullshit. I'm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm calling bullshit. It's early. But ding, also, ding. if you were creating a piece of mm. bullshit, would you would you go to grass? Uh, it wouldn't be I my think, one. I think that like Vegetable based items are the easiest to get off plates. I mean, if you Absolutely. Say, there's other, th- there's like <laughs> if you burn the bottom of something, you, like or? a yeah, if you burn a you burn a sauce on in the mm. microwave. What Did about you cooking night? with turmeric? Right? Yeah. Like, there's all these grass. Grass yeah. is so easy. It's a weird to get off detail, <laughs> which is why some of these seem true and some of them don't. It's the weird detail in there yeah, sometimes. The grass yeah. is unless uh, where, was he on a picnic? Is yeah, and, is he, and he person, sautéed some grass accidentally. Is this person <laughs> thinking of their pants? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like yeah. You get grass on your pants. Oh, yeah. And sometimes that, that, that stain be, is hard to get yeah. out, but nobody's skidding oh. with their plates <laughs> right. on That's the true. lawn. Not Just, many. I haven't and, seen many do yeah, that in my yeah. time. Unless you're putting, putting the plate out for the dog to eat on the backyard sure. and yeah. somehow the dog gets a grass stain. Yeah. Well, that's, but anyway. We're, we're thinking too much about it. We're thinking right? too much about it. <laughs> He was he was weird to start with throwing yeah. out just binning dirty dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or for example, sometimes I just can't be bothered cleaning. That's another example. One of the many examples. Okay. No, 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 Grass no, no, no. and okay. gross. But, all right, but also yeah. I know we've got to get through this letter, but can yeah. I just say that I'm so sorry, but cleaning a plate is a lot quicker than going to a shop and buying a plate. <laughs> maybe he just does bulk. <laughs> Like he yeah. orders them online, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Or perhaps right. he, I don't know why I'm on his side all of a sudden, Claire. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, I thought I would be more compassionate, but I'm like, sorry, this it, just in pure time efficiency yeah. Yeah. does not <laughs> does work. Does not check out, yeah. He works at Harris Scar, so he's able to <laughs> Got some great discounts. them up every day. <laughs> great plug for Harris Scar. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time, this only applies to Tupperware slash food storage containers. Okay, okay. But lately, I've been throwing away bigger dishes. <laughs> including a glass baking pan, which I was able to replace for about $6. Made myself money, if anything. I don't know that well, hang on, how does he make himself money if he just threw the other one out <laughs> and then paid $6? Yeah. To me, $6 <laughs> down. Yeah. Not well, to mention the time it took. Here comes the accountant it. again. My favourite ex-accountant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> $6 and an extra crock pot. I forgot to use a <laughs> liner and it... And took it to potluck. Okay, cool. Wow, this is, thank you so much. Fascinating. Yeah, thank you so much. My thought was my second five years to come on. Just uh, some of them are long. (laughs) My my thought process when I threw it away was, I didn't like that one anyway. It was old and I'll get a new one. I cannot afford this lifestyle by any means. I just cannot deal with some things. Dishes are the worst. Recently, my girlfriend came over with a lovely dish. So he knew it was lovely when he saw it. That is yeah. lovely. <laughs> that's, I'm going to say that's phenomenal. That's that a dish lovely is dish. Phenom. Yeah. And he's but, referring, I assume he's referring to the, the actual hardware, the dish itself, as right. opposed to the food that was in the dish. Yeah, yeah. or not calling his girlfriend the dish. Yeah, yeah. Here comes yeah. another dish. Ooh, very nice. And I couldn't be asked cleaning it. It was a really nice dish, but I thought I could easily replace it. She left it at my place, okay. soaking it overnight, but it was straight in the bin for that one. I okay. love that it was soaking with water in it. It's gone, that's straight in the bin. Yeah, right. I do regret that. I've made up this whole bleeding story about it getting stolen in a home invasion, which they often do in these <laughs> cases. Yeah, I've heard an in, I've heard an invented <laughs> home invasion a few times. <laughs> they, they do it. They do, I mean, they do it on this podcast a lot. On, on Reddit, yeah. they do it a lot. Not in my everyday life. Here's we another invented home invasion. Here they bloody go again. My friends. Now, I, won't, I won't hear a bar of it. <laughs> We had four guys break into our house 
uh, recently. Four. And they four of them they just took the air fryer. That was all they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but it took four of them to lift it out. <laughs> it it's a big them. one. Well, one of the doing pretty well. Wanted to hold my wife back. <laughs> wanted to hold my son back, and the other one took the. Where's the air fryer? <laughs> It's in the top gun. <laughs> now, a lot of the time on these, they have edits, so they update it after a few months. This is the edit for this one. Oh. E- edit, thank you for everyone for the advice, but I know how to do dishes. <laughs> so only people have commented, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> that does not change that sometimes they're too overwhelming to deal with. I probably yeah. should have just made that part clear. Anyway, what the fuck do I do about the seemingly non-replaceable dish? And everyone then commented, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're the, an idiot. The non-replaceable dish is his partner's dish. His partner's yeah. dish. His problems are way bigger than his partner's <laughs> dish. It's it's his partner's on, dish yeah. is at the bottom of a long list of issues this guy has. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I feel like, Claire, therapy might be a good starting yeah. point for this guy. <laughs> He needs to sort himself out. Look, if he, but if he's in the market for six dollar baking dishes, I don't know if therapy's like on the cards. You know, no, therapy's expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's true. Yeah, really speak to somebody who's had a, a small internal snap. You know, like that. There yeah. is absolutely yeah. some suppressed rage and some mm. stress in other areas of the life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't yeah. there at the point where you're like, you know what? I throw dishes out now. You know, like when that's me to, now. Is, yeah. yeah, and that's my truth. <laughs> right. It's such a damn. I mean, I remember one of the highly stressed points of my life. One of when mm. the, the few years I was doing one of the worst jobs of my life. I remember Give it a, a plug. ceremony. Absolutely not. A little ceremony <laughs> that I had was I would at the end of the workday, bring home something with the company, let a head on it and yep. burn it in the backyard. And that was what I did every day at the end of the job. And I really needed it. And so when I – see, I know this isn't exactly you the same one, but week. I hear about this person just being like, in the bin I deserve better than yeah. to scrub this dirt off. I'm like, what is actually What's actually going here? on? Like, yeah. what is that plate representing for you where you're like, I shouldn't have to – Clean up my own mess off this plate. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. And what's with the grass? And also the grass. What's what on the grass? earth is happening? What on earth is happening? What do you think he should do in a situation like this? Do you go to great lengths to find the exact same dish and buy it back? I think you probably have to buy the heirloom for your girlfriend. What do you think? Uh, well, you can't buy an heirloom by definition of an heirloom, right? Uh, yeah, I, heirloom. again, I, I think that I wouldn't even think about the dish. <laughs> He needs to sort out these other problems first. <laughs> yeah, sure. The dish is not a pro. Stuff. The dish yeah. is. I get that he thinks the dish is a priority because his girlfriend's going to say, "Where's my dish?" Yeah, and sure. that's happening right now. Yeah, his priority needs to be working out what the little, what the little snap is, yeah. what the wrinkle is <laughs> in his life that's causing him to throw dishes out. Yeah, because that problem is that is going to happen again. Yeah, and you can if have so many home invasions. If he can doesn't blame it sort on. that out. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do reckon any complex lie like a home invasion is extremely hard. Yep. To it's just hard to maintain. If you think you're going to be with that girl for <laughs> yeah. any longer than a few months, I think you need to be like, it wasn't a home invasion. You already know it wasn't a home invasion. Yeah. I stuffed up. I'm in a really bad place in my life right now. Make sure you do cries. Yeah. Let her feel like she can rescue you by forgiving you at yeah. the end. Yeah. Because if you do stick with the home invasion lie, you no. are eventually down the track going to forget and then you're yeah. going to go out to dinner with oh. friends one night yeah. and she's going to go, oh, my God, tell him the time, the home invasion. And he's yeah. going to go, what? What are you, what are you talk- talking about? What home invasion? What are you talking about? What HR? <laughs> he just shortens everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, the home. That's right. Yeah. Was, oh, yes. How many guys? A Wednesday. Ah, shit. <laughs> it was autumn. <laughs> also, um, how long was that confession? And can you – I mean, like, how long See would this person's story <laughs> have been whatever. if it was actually a good story? Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was – the more interesting part of it, one sentence at the end. I yeah, save that bit. So I would also recommend to him to start buying paper plates. Yeah, that would yeah. be a little in- interim. I would yeah. recommend yeah. to him just start eating straight out of the saucepan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's good. I like that. Yeah. Hey, what happens when he goes to a restaurant? Does he finish his meal and? I bet he eats at Greek restaurants a lot so he can smash the plates <laughs> afterwards. He only eats Greek. Somebody yeah. needs to buy this guy a pass to a break room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's right, yeah. Well, let's move on to the next confession because we sure. absolutely solved that. We move on to Penny. Penny confesses. Oh, that's my child's name. Yeah, right? no, okay. yeah. it's not, I uh, promise you. <laughs> I have, I've started Penny, stealing. nine years old. Nine years old. This could be a, I know. Don't say that because this could be some sordid <laughs> story. Okay, story that's now. That's <laughs> Penny confesses. I did. Oh no, sorry. 
My dad did a podcast before my mum. No. No, I'm just joking. I'm just having some fun. I'm just mucking around having some fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Just having a muck around. (laughs) I've been mucking around. Be a little scared. (laughs) Having a bit of fun. Having a bit of fun. Nothing wrong with that. Benny confesses, I've started stealing from luxury grocery stores every day. And by every day, I mean every day. Just great to sum that up. All right. Just double down on it. Yeah. No, no, no. Because some people do speak in superlatives on relatives. Yeah, that's true. Some people are exaggerating. Or people just say literally all the time. Yeah. yeah. This is literally every day. (laughs) Literally every day. day. Which they've they've changed the meaning of literally. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway, don't get me started. (laughs) Not how kids seem to use it these days. I've always been a goody two shoes, butter butter in my mouth and the rest of it. Close to the same, but yeah. (laughs) Close enough is what I do on Reddit all the time. Close enough. You'd see me as the perfect rosy-cheeked kind of girl who couldn't say a bad word about anybody. Mm. I've always lived by the book, and that's maybe why I decided to be a rebel. I don't know. Does anyone else feel about that, to be a fucking rebel? That's what she says. Okay. Okay. That wasn't just me. (laughs) Anyone else want to be a rebel? Can I hear an amen? (laughs) It's so interesting how Mm. little... People do uh, proofread of their work yeah. before they publish. Yeah, or just do a little backspace. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've already said that. I shouldn't say it again. No, I'll just keep going. No, I'll do it occasionally on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter doesn't have an edit function. Yeah, and it so annoys annoying. me. Yeah. Because yeah. I'll occasionally put out a tweet and it's like, oh, I've missed out just a like just one little, yeah. in the middle <laughs> yeah. of it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sing it to the rooftops and call me crazy. Okay. So, okay, if we want. I'm still, I can't, I've got to get a nine-year-old girl out of my yeah, head. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. So, this yeah. Story. <laughs> I did that. Is it the way I'm reading it? <laughs> Sing it to the rooftops and call me crazy. Sometimes it feels like it never works, though yeah. this good by the books type of behaviour. Anyway, I'm just going to move on. Okay, cool. All right. All right. That no matter how good I am, I always get screwed in the end. My career is not panning out the way I wanted. I have no relationship, work a crappy job in between retail, working random days, including weekends for that matter, mm-hmm. and live in a city that I'm not too sure I want to live in anymore. London, so to speak. London, so, <laughs> so is it London? So to speak, it might be London, I think. <laughs> literally, it's literally, <laughs> literally London. London. It's literally right. London. I live in literally okay. run- London. Yeah. I was working. Like it felt like it was all coming to a head. I hated everything and I don't know how to speak about it. Nothing was going right for me. So during my break, I went to a nearby luxury grocery store. Don't worry. It wasn't independent. It was a, it was a corporate. <laughs> but it's, it's luxury. Yeah, yeah, put some thought into it. <laughs> Do we they, know who that would be in London? Uh, oh, no, Marks, Marks and Spencer or something. Oh, yeah. Is that luxury? Yeah, it, is it? isn't really that yeah. luxury. Mm. What's the what's oh yeah the, oh what is the really the really big one that I can't the think of? And it's got lots of floors. Harrods, Harrods. Well, I'm thinking oh, Harrods. Yeah, there's Harrods, and then there's what uh, Fortnum and, no- and Mason. Or oh something. yeah, oh, yeah. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. There but is a chain that's above M and S that's a bit pricey. Mm. Yeah, sure. okay, yeah. We'll call oh, them. We'll it's wait. Funny that I can't remember. <laughs> we'll wait. They can call him so when it goes live we'll in a few weeks. Um, it's okay. So the line was too long for me to pay. It was going to be well past my break time. So I took it. And now I've begun to take something every day. No one cares. No one is paying attention. Now you might think it's not a big deal, but for me, it's taking back the power from an indifferent world. It's escalated. Now I'm taking clothing and have my eyes set one day on Mm. stealing a Porsche. (laughs) Oh, oh, wow. Right. Pretty big, yeah. Okay. I don't know. What do I do? I don't know if the queues are that long for Porsches, though. (laughs) I don't think they are, yeah. I don't know if you can just drive out while you wait. (laughs) You step right into one of those. (laughs) Is it wrong to do what I'm doing or or, or am I taking back what's rightfully mine? Well, it's it's wrong to to do what she's doing, but I get it. And she understands it as well. She's just, she's psycho analyzed herself right there. Mm -hmm. And I understand if you're lost and you're feeling alone and you're hating yourself and your job and your life, you want to feel some element of power somewhere. So stealing stuff gives you a bit, makes you feel good for a moment. But you've got, again, like the dishes guy, you've got to, Find the source yeah. root of yeah. your issues yeah, that's there. Right. Like yeah. your, your um your your petty theft is a real band aid solution. Yes, for yeah, really yeah. Deep, deep misery. <laughs> yeah, that's and, right. <laughs> but she does seem at least aware of that. So when I hear this, I'm like, what's she fishing for? Does she just is she just hoping for an outpouring on Reddit of just going, you sound like a great person. Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. Like, does she just need? Is she looking for a little bit of love back? I think there? she does. Yeah, I, think I think she, she wants some love. love. I see. I'm, I'm listening to that story. Going, she sounds to me like she doesn't have 
she's lost in a friendship group as well, or she doesn't yeah, have one. Yeah, yeah. She's got nowhere to go. Yeah, to. Yeah. Feel joy in her life. Well, she's in London, so to speak. She's in London, so to speak. Can be a very lonely city, London. <laughs> That's actually true. if you haven't okay. got yeah. if you haven't got some friends there. Yeah. So yeah. I get it, but you know she might want to pull up stumps before she gets to the board. <laughs> don't, don't take the board. That it's going to end badly. <laughs> yeah. it usually does. Yeah. Now the wonderful people on Reddit like to comment uh, on everything as well, yes. and so the wonderful people to see if they agree with you. They write to Penny. So justice for justice writes fuck off. Ali Cat. <laughs> Justice for justice. Justice for justice. Fuck off. <laughs> Ali Cat 392 writes, don't steal a Porsche. Take it from my father. Never was the same again. Don't know if the father stole the Porsche or... You know, so was I was never the same it. since he got a Porsche, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and Libera Toast Marshall writes, I love that you would just condone stealing like it's a good idea. Reminds me of when I was in grade school and took a pencil and took it home and then my mother marched me down to that school and asked me to eat it in front of the principal. Asked her to eat it. <laughs> See, to me, that's way worse I'm than sorry. stealing. I think a pencil. eating a pencil would. Yeah, that's right. That's like. That's, I mean, it's a little bit like that. You yeah. S- you stole cigarettes. You will smoke all those cigarettes. But it's like yeah, you yeah. stole a pencil. You'll eat the pencil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, you should just have to write with the pencil till the pencil's gone. Yeah, right? mum's just got Surely. one punishment for mums. everything. Yeah, mums, am I right? Mums, oh, hate those guys. Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started. My one of my brothers got caught smoking, and mm-hmm. just, they said, well, oh. "If you're going to smoke, finish the pack," and he did. Oh. Then he smoked for the next forty years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful story. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I like that story. No, he really took. He really took it seriously. <laughs> yeah. I love a commitment like yeah. that. Now, so in this, we're just saying you've got bigger problems. You need to probably you got have problems. some things to, yeah, uh-huh. some retail therapy. I mean, there's a, there's a lovely conversation about, you know, like shoplifting from a multinational. Because mm. mm. it's like, yeah. yeah, technically that is wrong. But, 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 there, but is there a deep inherent wrong in a multinational company who, where the stakeholders are, you know, the shareholders are only rich because... Of their campaigning to keep minimum wage low, so yeah. that they don't have to pay their way w- their workers enough wage. You know, mm. like there are there is this big yeah. kind of ethereal wrong that maybe they're doing. She so this idea of taking a bit of the power back. Mm-hmm. You can see how she justifies it. Yeah, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. should she get caught, she's going to get in trouble. Not <laughs> yeah, <her. laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's unlikely that she would get caught, and they would go. We appreciate your uh, yeah. so- socialist motivations <laughs> yeah. for thieving from we were wrong. Thank multinational. You so much. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the second last confession today that comes from Marianne. Marianne confesses, I once worked in one of those paint-your-own ceramic shops. Good. I went into one of them yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yep. You liked it? Uh, did it steal anything? School holidays, eh? But we didn't <laughs> oh, paint just, anything. Okay. We just walked just in. Just looked. Just to have, have a, look. a look just to take some time up. Just to take That's some time. That's free. We're, we're, going to, we're going to a magic show today. Oh, great. The magic festival's on. What? I didn't even know. Oh, that's right. I saw a poster. Like oh, the comedy there's festival. Really there's, there's a magic, a magic festival. festival. Okay. Oh, great. This is good to know. And there's a full like kids magic. program. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see a magician today and tomorrow we're going to a conjuring class okay. where they teach the kids magic. Okay, that's this fun. is great because I was going to take my children to Kirsty Wiebeck's comedy show, but we've had a conversation about how it's probably not what I should oh, do. Right, I might yeah. take them. Do you know what I mean? It's like Kirsty's fine yeah. for kids, but also yes. probably not, not written for them. So it may yeah. not capture their attention quite as much as a magic festival. Yeah, it's a magic <laughs> festival. So Ask yeah, Kirsty can do some magic. Oh, uh, she probably, probably could. could. She's yeah. very good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're going today into the, the conjuring workshop. Oh, that's going to be great. Their yeah. heads up. Get involved. <laughs> Small enough, but who really cares about the size of a building? Okay, I've forgotten it's what this is sorry, about. Sorry, ceramic. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I didn't think I'd end up there in life, but what else are you going to end up? Well, if, uh, you can do we start stuff? the list? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a while. <laughs> it paid the bills and that's that. It's not like it was my passion. Ceramics hardly ever are. <laughs> <laughs> One day the Beckhams came in. Okay. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. For real, she writes up. For, for, for real. Reals. Literally. I went I went somewhere immediately after the Beckhams. I'll tell you the story when we oh, finish this. Yeah. yeah, very fun. I found them hard to see in real life because they're so perfect. You have an idea of celebrities in your head and then you see them and it literally blows your mind. That's what I'm thinking mm. right now with you two mm-hmm. sitting in front yeah. of me. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. They were as pretty and perfect as you could ever imagine. He's still talking about us. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when you've got a gunt and bad skin, that's really not what you want. When you've got a what? A gunt. 
A, oh, a okay. gun. Yes. I, thought, I thought you I said a gun. gun. A gun. When you get a gun. That's fine. That was a real sharp turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make store with a gun. That's the whole confession. Yep. Uh, where do you think a confession, Lima, you've done this podcast so many times. Where do you think a confession like this is going to go? Is it going to be stealing? Is it going to be something with the victims? <sighs> what do you think? Yeah. I think she's I think probably going to inappropriately touch the ceramics. I, <laughs> wow. That okay. the Beckhams leave with her in the drying phase. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. I think she's going to um, <clears throat> do some damage to the store. Okay. What? <laughs> Just break stuff. Well, why? What will that, what, how will that relate to the Beckhams? <laughs> Just wants to break stuff. <gasps> will she overcharge the Beckhams because she knows they don't check their credit card? Well, something receipt? does get broken. Something oh. does get broken. So this is what happens. Oh. Brooklyn painted a dog bowl. Good shout. They're our most popular at the time. Brooklyn Beckham. Brooklyn Beckham, yeah. Not just some random person in the store. Sure. But it's not uncommon for a confession to go that way. <laughs> Brooklyn, who I haven't mentioned before, was there too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she said that she wanted to give it to her friend for a present. People, when they come in, often tell you what they'll be doing with it after. But it's definitely not something we need to know. It's oh, not the law. Okay. Okay. I don't, right. I don't know why that's, yeah. yeah. She's a bit sassy in this. <laughs> to be honest, a lot of the time when people tell me what they're doing with it, I couldn't care less. But people sure do love to chat. It doesn't affect me in the slightest what you do with it. So jog on work. I'm just getting through this real quick because yeah, yeah. it's a weird rant that they go on. <laughs> That's when I had this genius idea. I could pretend it was broken and sell it online. No, wait, I could do better. Instead, I forged a dog bowl for Brooklyn Beckham and sold the real one online. No one will ever know, but I made about 400 quid. Don't know if it's something I should come clean about to my boss. Or the Beckhams. So, sorry, just, so just explain okay. to me how this is so working. what <laughs> happened is uh, Brooklyn Beckham painted a uh, dog bowl. Yep. Right. And then... Tell me, just concentrate on Limo. I got yeah. it. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, um, oh, and, yeah, no, it's too, <laughs> so when, it's too much for me. I, I think there's probably a process where you take it out the back. She had another one. She gave that one to Brooklyn. Yeah. She kept the original so that she could sell that online. So make she, some money. But she must have quickly painted it to look exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, or just had one signal. We don't know. She didn't describe that. Okay. She described the yeah, um, they all do the go other away details. While it's drying. So yeah. they're in, in your, oh, in your so you've got a bit of time. So you've got a bit of time. Like school holidays, like. ceramic painting activity. It's yeah. like. Well, you're watching them for hours. Painted? Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> yesterday. Paint it. Okay. Go yeah. away. Yeah. Get a bit of cake. Come yeah. back when it's dry. Take yeah. time. Yeah. So she had plenty of time to yeah. whip up a copy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And she sold it as painted by Brooklyn. Yes. Beckham. Yep. Yep. Four hundred right. quid. I feel like she's already outed herself there. I think so. Yeah. The fact yeah. that it's on Reddit feels a bit. <laughs> And yet, I don't. Unless think it's, it's not a Beckham, unless she's pretended. I don't know, but she did go on about how beautiful they are. <laughs> so she's outed herself with the actual sale, the physical sale of it. <laughs> yeah, and she's outed herself on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see what's happened here. The Beckhams never entered her ceramics shop. She's just creating a backstory to oh. authenticate the eBay yeah. sale. Oh, that's the smart. Bowl. That's smart. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. what's happened. Yeah, the I've end. been doing so, that. So you know, so what she's had is she's had the buyer going, but how do I? No, How do this I know? is really Brooklyn Beckham, and she's like, I refer you to my Reddit post. <laughs> see title, see above. Yeah, see that's above. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, I 100% agree. Yeah, that's so exactly there's nothing you have happened. to do here because you've Can already sold it. We possibly see has this poster posted other things about. I would just like to tell you about the time Kylie Minogue <laughs> came in to make a salad at my bread and mortar. I then sold the salad that Kylie Minogue made for yeah. bread and mortar, right? Yeah, yeah. That would be great. That would yeah, be great. There's yeah. the time Johnny Depp left the jacket in my shop, <laughs> which I then sold. I copied the jacket and returned a similar jacket to Johnny I just Depp. drew a picture of a jacket. <laughs> yeah, which so Johnny Depp would probably fall for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you don't think there's anything you need to do here? There's no further action here. Just, no. just leave it. Stop stop selling shit that yeah. you claim it yeah. belongs to other people. I mean, yeah. the Beckhams yeah. are already leveraging the Beckhams to make so much money. Why yeah, can't a true. couple other people leverage the Beckhams for yeah. a couple of quid yeah. as well? Yeah, especially Brooklyn. They're a, yeah, they're a machine. They just keep making more money. Yeah. What's your, what's I mean, your, what's your Beckham? I mean, my God, that so- the, he, he's bought a soccer team in America. Yeah, Miami yeah. One where Lionel Messi's now playing. The numbers on that are extraordinary. Really? Like he bought it. It's something I'm kind of guessing here, but this is the type of money he's made. Let's say he bought it for $30 million a few years ago. It's now worth $300 million. Wow. It's like... You can buy a few know, dog bowls. You money just make... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. yeah, yeah. And now Messi's played. We're worth a billion dollars soon, though. Anyway. Yeah, wow. Cool. Um, was this your story about the Beckhams? Oh, I, I was yeah. there. This is years ago. It's 15 years ago. Yeah. I was with 
mate of mine, Fitzy, Ryan Fitzgerald. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're in Las Vegas and we went to Spearmint Rhino. Oh my god. And we <laughs> it's were a boys weekend. We're in Spear. Yeah, we're in Spear. You and I are friends, but then there are these stories. <laughs> where I'm like, oh, that yeah, you exist. You exist. You inhabit that world as well. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. We and we were there to watch. I'm the, there with my friend Fitzy. We're in Vegas. <laughs> we're in Spearmint Rhino. What are you going to do? Okay. Why was I not? And we were there, we were there for the Ricky Hatton Floyd Mayweather fight. Okay, oh, joke. Anyway, we're in Spearmint Rhino, and we're talking to these girls. <laughs> oh my god! And they I? said, they said, oh my god, um. Just, it was either, I think it was last night because the fight was on. They said just last night, David Beckham and uh, Victoria Beckham were in this exact same booth. And we were like, oh, my God, it's cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then they told us that she, Posh Spice, was choosing the girls that would give David Beckham lap dances. She was handpicking the girls. Wow. Um, and there was only, and it was a rule they could only be brunettes or only blondes. I can't remember which it was. But these, they were telling me Fitzy. Wow. These, uh, these I, I thought, but Fitz and I were like all excited that we we're in the same booth as David Beckham was the night before. Did you ask for the exact same girls David Beckham had for some lap dances? <laughs> yeah. It was, to be honest with you, it wasn't really mine and Fitzy's comfort zone. We were a bit yeah. like, it wasn't really it. <laughs> Strip club really is an hour scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. and but uh, also, is this another Brooklyn Bowl? It would, did yeah. this girl just tell you that but to get you to spend more it. in the booth? <laughs> Possibly. But David Beckham was in Vegas at yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah. I know that. Well, Posh so. Spice was doing a residency as a mic stand there. <laughs> good good? Yeah. Good night, Australia. Good year. <laughs> we'll be back after Miss Eagans. Wrap it up. Podcast <laughs> is finished. That's it. We have the final confession today. The final confession that comes from Ian. Ian confesses. I blamed my massive turd on the oh, dog. Great. It's fun. Okay. This reminds me of a Xavier Michaelides video. <laughs> I was on a picnic date and I just had to go. There wasn't anything else I could do. Christ knows I thought of everything else. You'd think it's so funny that I tried to tell my friends about this. My supposed friend just said, just why? Like, weren't there other options? Don't you think that I would have assessed all other options before I shit next to an alive duck near the lake? <laughs> next to an alive duck. I don't know why you specified. Do you know, I alive. know. Like if you hadn't specified, yeah, I still I would have, have assumed a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. <laughs> to a duck. Was it alive <laughs> <Yeah>. or dead? <laughs> that Imagine would, if that's that my that stance on everything. Not have been the question <laughs> I've asked. Br- can I bring my dog over later? Is it alive <laughs> or dead? <laughs> <laughs> the dead. Uh, after witnessing him have a shit, the duck suicide. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, the Beckhams were here? Alive or dead? <laughs> and I was almost caught in the act too. A lot of people probably saw people walking through the park pretending that they were better than me. Fucking psychos. Pretending. <laughs> pretending. <laughs> or just being, just being better. better. <laughs> I'm just walking, I'm better. <laughs> so the date was going pretty well. Up until what? that point. Oh, okay, yeah, the yeah. date. He's back to the, he mentioned that very briefly at the start. So he's on a date, date in yeah. a park. Oh, picnic date. Picnic date. I heard <clears> picnic date. He's got grass date. in the bottom of the pan. Yeah, yeah. that kind of gear. So he's on a pic. So just to get picnic this clear. Picnic date. Picnic date. Oh, man. And then no toilets around. <laughs> so he's, uh, it's too much tr- trouble for an early on. That's right. Yeah. There's no escape plan. Yeah, hold on. There's an alive duck over there. Hold on. So he's on, a, he's on a picnic date. Yep. And he's had to do a poo. Yep. And he's rushed off. And he's pooed next, next to, to a live duck. duck. Well, not a duck. A live a duck. duck. Sorry. Thank you. I showed her how. I showed her how. Okay, this is. This seems great for a date. I was showing her how high I could count, and was showing her all the cool things I could do. I mean, there's nothing good. That, there's nothing that says sexy sorry. like how a high counter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Imagine being on the date. Hang on. Go, oh, hold we... on, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. That's all I got. Babe, do you know how old Ian is or can you just not count that high? <laughs> I don't think you can count that high. <laughs> okay, Claire, just put yourself in this situation. So you're on a date and the guy says, <laughs> okay. you, know I'm a, you know I'm a really good counter. <laughs> you know I can count really high? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is watch that this. how you propose to your <laughs> wife, ex-accountant? <laughs> watch this. One, <laughs> two, three. For ages. <laughs> he just keeps he just keeps going. I go talk amongst yourself. Four, five, six, seven. He's still seven. going. I'm still going. He hasn't stopped since day. Twelve thousand six hundred and twenty one. Twelve six hundred and twenty two. But the sentence before that was it's gone pretty well up until that point. So he's absolutely crushing it with the counting. 
Okay, keep okay. going. I was showing her all the cool things I could do. I really wanted to have sex with her that day. I usually would. <laughs> well, you're going to have to stop counting first. <laughs> I usually have shown her better at other things. It was quite embarrassing that I went this way, but I was having severe stomach problems and didn't want to move that much. I was pretending I was fine with milk. The milk completely backfired on me and soon I was going to shit myself beyond repair. <laughs> beyond repair. Beyond repair. <laughs> Instead of shitting in front of her... I decided <laughs> to pretend <laughs> to go find a toilet. Okay, well, that, I mean, that, that is a better option than Way shitting better. in front of it. Yeah, I pretended shitting. to go and find a toilet. Yeah. I guess you could have also not pretended. You could have just <laughs> gone, gone to find, find a toilet. Like, yeah. I would have just counted louder as I shit myself. But he could be, like in his defence, I'm thinking of, you know, park scenarios. Yeah. He could be... You know, often parks are quite big and there's yeah. just one toilet. Yeah. And if he didn't know the park well, yeah. he could possibly be caught out if he's in a real situation. If he's in a real rush to get there. Yeah. So it could be a case of duck All behind right. a tree and... All right. Yeah. yeah. On the count of three, everyone in this room, say the age you were when you last chat yourself. <laughs> one, two, three. Fifteen. Fifteen. Thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, quite good. Covered that up well. I, okay. That's how I, I actually count. can't. I, I actually can't, can't remember maybe. when I last shat myself. Yeah. I think I was about but 15, you, I think. You don't yeah. count tiny. You don't count tiny. You don't count yeah, tiny. I was, yeah, yeah. yeah, I would definitely have been foot. And you really low bowled it. I thought you were going to go quite high. I know. Got, yeah, it sounded like I had a good story for you and I didn't, but I was just curious. And I feel like I must have, but I I was. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Think I, have, I think I've always managed to just, I've gotten... I've gotten lucky a bunch of times. Yeah. I've yeah. got a friend who's got about 10 shitting stories. And yeah. it's like, I reckon you need to change your diet <laughs> from recently as well. Like, it's not like. like yeah. I really find accidental poo stories yeah. very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, are, and so yeah. it's curious that I'm not laughing as much at yeah. this story. Yeah. Maybe it's the way I'm reading that? it. It's my delivery. Mm. No, I think, I think I'm think i sensing that it's not a real shitting oh, story. Not oh, wow. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. It might not be. The alive duck stuff was a bit weird. The, well, the, the counting, the how high I can count is really weird. That's yeah. very why, odd. Why am I sus on it? Why am I sus on this? Gym? Yeah, yeah. Let's see where we get to okay. at the end. I decided to pretend to go find a toilet. There weren't any to be clear and shit near the duck. Later, yeah, I mean, starting here's to... the problem. Ducks are not going <laughs> to sit around while you drop your pants. The, the no, duck yeah. is gone. Yeah, it's gone. Plus so also it's... ducks ducks can't be trusted. Never. Ducks aren't as innocent as they look. I've been attacked by ducks before. Have you really? Oh, oh my God. Mate. It was, was it alive or dead? The duck. It was a live duck. <laughs> okay. It was a live duck, and it had a bit of shit on its foot. I wonder. <laughs> it had been near okay, this duck. What well, is bad. adding up? No, I really the duck bad really experience. went me. It was. Oh a, wow. Yeah. Horrifying. I'm sorry. I was quite, I was quite rattled. Sorry to get you. To it's talk funny. About my it. wife rang me straight after. Just coincidentally, rang me straight after it happened, and I was like. Because I'd ran away from the duck. Yeah. I was a bit Horrified. stressed. Yeah. She goes, Are you okay? You sound a bit. Well. And I, I said, I've just been attacked. All right. And she goes, Oh my God. What happened? <laughs> Who buy? I said, Buy a duck. And her, <laughs> her sympathy levels dipped yeah, yeah. fairly rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> there weren't any nuclear and shit near the ducks. Later on, when we were leaving, we had to walk through there and I tried to pull her away. She obviously thought something was pretty suspicious and that's when she saw it. I think I spoke a bit too quickly and was a tad too defensive, blaming it on a nearby dog, but I think she saw right through me. So fucking stupid. I really like her and I'd like to go on a second date, but she won't reply to my messages. Oh, and that yeah. was so that was the very first date. <laughs> Oh, that was date that. number one. That's really date number like one. Her. Yeah, I like I her too. I want to have sex with her. Oh, sorry. Oh, I think you just said I really yeah, like no, her. Just, just, I like her too. I'm just saying something. Like, yeah, she sounds great. She you sounds know what? Great. The date sounds like the hero of this story. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, 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 the date is the main character in this story. Yeah, I made it weird. How do I make it right? That's no, a final confession. Sorry, that, that one's, yeah, that's done. Do you leave it? You yeah, no, it's it. all right. That's all right. She's replying to your message. You're going to pursue. So, yeah, if she's not replying to your yeah, messages, maybe don't harass her with, I'm so sorry I did a shit in the park. Yep. I'm sorry I counted as high as I could. I really want to have sex with you. It wasn't no, high enough. Just wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe he can count even higher. Maybe yeah. that's the angle. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know I got to 438 million. To if I could just get on the phone thousand. to you one more time, I can show you how. <laughs> I've been shitting in toilets ever since I saw you. <laughs> I swear. Here's what I think. Um, here's what I think. You've We've got, got to... to Oh, it's a damn Murphy's order. Let me hold on. What 
Are you, are you worried about Oh, do you want me to get it? No, no, no. So you fine. don't have to stand up? I don't know if you need to or anything. Uh-huh, uh, I, I okay. I wallet just there. Sorry about that. Is this going to make the cut? Hey. Yeah, it's going to make the cut. Sorry, Lemo. Okay, here's... So, I'm so... It is... Um, it's not that I... Um, when I have uh, people over... I have broken my foot. It's not just um, I make the guests always go and get my deliveries. That's imagine. why you. That's why you have podcasts. Yeah. Now, what do you do in a situation like this? You just leave oh. the girl alone. Sorry, Claire, you're going to say something. I was. Uh, I mean, leave her alone is what yes. I'm saying. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. at this point, it yeah. would be harassment if you continue yeah. to try and fix things. Um, and you, you've also you've already proven that your attempts at fixing things are horrific. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know, like like as in first being like, I oh, will fix this. By shitting near a duck. Yeah. And, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah, in the yeah. follow up, I will fix things by telling her, yeah. pointing at my shit and saying, that was a dog. <laughs> I don't, so, anyway, but here's, here's the thing that I'm, I'm like, my, my gut saying this isn't even a real shitting story yeah. or I would be laughing more. I yeah. reckon. Yeah. Invented the whole shitting part just to explain why he didn't get a root. Oh, yeah. Why, I yeah. think this is a fiction. It's like, yeah. I really want to have sex with this girl. <laughs> yeah. She didn't want to answer my messages. Therefore, yeah, it's the only option. It was the. I must, it must have been that shit that I did. Didn't even do the shit. Didn't just, even she do just the wasn't shit. interested. Yeah. Did he do yeah. the counting? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, by himself. I think we know. I think we know there why. Was never any girl. That, that was, was on the way home. He that started was a man counting. Alone, yep. counting at a park, shitting next to a duck, and then going home, going, "Why am I single?" He, he was on a date with a duck. Yeah. <laughs> Famously. Now the end of that was had, and he took a shit right there. Because <laughs> I, when I was first dating Kel, mm. and we would walk through the park, if ever we saw a dog shit, I would always say, "Not mine. Not mine. Not mine." <laughs> When you're too just defensive, to be, just to be clear, it's not, not mine. mine. <laughs> I do it any time I walk past anything. I not mine. Want, I didn't want her thinking I'd shat all through the park. <laughs> you went there earlier and laid some cables out on there. <laughs> now, at the end of that, we've had four beautiful confessions from four beautiful people. If you had to mm. cast one of these as a major motion picture, do any spring out at all? You've got the final confession, of course, yes. from Ian, who has uh, said that he was shitting in the park. You've got Penny, who used to steal from luxury stores and has her eye on a Porsche. You've mm. got Murray, who throws away dishes instead of cleaning them. And you've got Marianne, who took a, uh, took a ceramic uh, dog bowl um, from Brooklyn. One hundred percent. We've got the heist film. We've yep. got Penny working up to the Porsche. That's yeah. mine. That's oh yeah, my yeah, heist. great. Yeah, one hundred percent is yep. the one I had in mind as well because I also picture through the story arc of that film, Penny, because what Penny's battling at the moment is loneliness, right? Yep. She, Penny, in the film pulls a team together. Yeah. And they all a start stealing together. Team. A yeah. ragtag team. But they become really close. Yeah. Despite their differences, they become the best of friends. <laughs> yes. And That's then good. they That's get good. joy from the relationships they have with each other. That's nice. And in the end, they don't need to steal anymore because they have each other. Wow. That's nice. Who's, who's leading this in, in, in the casting? Who's playing Penny, do you think? Oh, that's great. Well, look, I mean, um, as much mm. as I like diverse casting, she did talk about rosy cheeks. She mm. really painted herself. And yeah. Kind of, I mean, is it Reese Witherspoon or do we need to go? Or Reese I like, Witherspoon I like her Reese Witherspoon, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't kind of don't care. I feel like I feel like Penny's writing or, like someone in her late 20s, yes, though. Yeah. So. Uh, who's, she can uh, play young if we want oh, Reese, Reese to play. Reese can play. She can do anything. Reese is a <laughs> versatile actor. Yeah. She's a versatile actor. <laughs> Who's the, who's the other? Oh, I can't think of her name. She's won an Academy Award. She's in a film that's out at the moment. She was really good friends with Amy Schumer. Mm. Oh, not uh, it's not Margot Jennifer Robbie. Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. Yeah, so Jennifer Lawrence is good. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. Great. Mm. No, not for you? Okay, sure. Let's go Jennifer <laughs> Lawrence. Done. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, it, could, it could be a friend in the film. Yeah, okay, maybe. one of the ragtag team. One of the ragtag team. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. 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 Do we want Melissa McCarthy? She's always funny. Oh, look, she definitely she, is. Some, oh, they come good. across. She's not the lead, but they no. do come across Millie's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, great. no, she oh, would be. Actually, no, but that's great. Here's, I've got it. Yeah. Who's that? I'm not going to be able to give you her name, but I'm going to tell you who it is. is and good. she is an SNL character. Like, she's an yep. SNL performer. Right. She's the. Kate McKinnon or something like that. Oh, I wasn't thinking of McKinnon. Okay. Anyway, so that yeah, one. Right. Guys, uh, listening? Bill, Bill Hader. <laughs> I think one. Bill Hader's yep. in it somewhere. Yep. Okay, we can probably get so, in. Okay, this so we're leaning into a comedy here. So I think it's a, I think it's a comedy. Or, or they're just playing a really dramatic role, which is nice oh, for those comedy actors. Too. Do they steal the Porsche in the end? 
Um, there's, yeah, this is going to require some real plot breaking here yeah. because, um, because the I think that they're in the end they need to not go to pre- like as in you know yeah they've like got to win in the comedy there's got to be some sort of weird thing where they end up <clears throat> getting a ride in a Porsche yeah but they no longer want to keep the Porsche yeah how about they all hold each other's mm. hands in the end they're all in the back seat of the Porsche or they steal the Porsche they and out. they Thelma and Louise. Okay. Okay. So there's so two another options. good ending. Oh, right. <laughs> there's only two options, <laughs> but they're both yes. good options. Yes. Yeah. It's great. What do you want to call it? Do you want to call it? Something? Is it something about Porsche? Do you think? Is it? Like we could do a lovely play uh, on words, or is it just Porsche dreams? Um, Porsche in the sky. Oh, this is very Porsche. Porsche on the limits. Pushing the. Oh yeah. Li- Porsche on the limits is good. <laughs> Porsche. <laughs> the I, I mean, Porsche. you could just call it something like sticky fingers. Sticky or, fingers. You know, like yeah. Something you oh, know, something that yeah. speaks to comedy and yep. the and the kind of escalation of the theft. Yeah. What about be steal my heart instead of be still my heart? Are you really yeah. into the pun title? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I am. Well, it's a comedy. I like it. It's, it's fun. It's a comedy. comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be steal my heart. I think we've got some good options for the title. I think it's fun. Although that sounds more like a romantic comedy. <laughs> what, what do you call Love a gang interest. of thieves? What do you call a gang of thieves? What's the collective noun? Uh that is a. Uh, a uh, do you want to look it up? What do you call a gang of thieves? Gang of not thieves is not a comedy title. That's got Al Pacino. Is it a is it a gang? Is it a gang of thieves? What are they called? A gang of so so collect of a steal of thieves. What is a a? No, it's a band. Uh, what what <laughs> plural of thieves? No, say uh, the uh, collective noun for thieves. Collective you know what? Noun. Let's just call it the heist. Okay. There we go. It, <laughs> We're done. I'm not even looking it up. Sh- then we can choose je- genres later. That's okay. fun. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a wonderful film that's coming out soon, Claire Hooper. I'm the worst with Claire Hooper available on all of the apps. How do people find you? Is there anything else you want to promote? No, I just that'll do. Thank just you that? so yeah. much. Limo15 on Instagram. Limo23 yes. on uh, yes, Twitter. Yes, on Twitter. It's been on a lot. It. Get involved. <laughs> get involved, but also get in the podcast. Yeah, yeah, and, can, and catch up Utopia on ABC iView. Yeah, it's if so you haven't good. seen it. Yeah. So the first four seasons are on Netflix, and season five's on ABC iView. Add God to the millions of people that love it. Yeah, really absolutely. Struggling. Really. <laughs> get me harder. <laughs> Watch it once, then hit play a second time and leave the room. Yeah. Actually, just you know what? It. That goes for my pod too. Just yeah. absolutely <laughs> run it through a couple. Don't listen. Just walk yeah. away. Yeah. Walk away from your you phone. Get the plays up. Thank you. You know, I I listen to mostly history pods. And I fall asleep with them on, so then I end up listening to pods to three times. Episodes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, good for yeah, do that. Nobody fall asleep minds. listening. Nobody minds. Yeah. Nobody minds. Yeah. Well, Claire Hooper, thank you for joining me on the podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. Uh, thank you. Good night, Australia. <laughs>